There's a young lady named Maisha Mizuno. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and she is now officially the showrunner for both Regular Family Feud and Celebrity Family Feud on ABC. Did you know Family Feud came on on ABC? I think I did know that, yes. I had no idea. I always just watch, like, the clips on YouTube. Yeah, it's on. Or find, like, a full episode somewhere random. Usually YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I've I've seen a full Family Feud episode in a really long time. But, <laughs> yeah. But no, it's still alive and kicking on ABC. It, apparently. I mean, I knew it was still doing well. Um, especially because the clips of like Megan were Megan the Stanley were circulating the other day, so yep. clearly. But she's on. The I had no idea it was on ABC. I didn't. I thought it was on some like I don't know random cable network, but apparently not. So back to Miss Maisha here. Um, she's now the producer for both shows, um, and I think that's super fly. Um, on top of that. Um, the show has returned for its 10th anniversary. Uh, let me be more specific. Celebrity Family Feud mm -hmm. has returned for its 10th anniversary, and its landmark 100th episode was on July 9th, just the other day. So, um, it says here that those, those games are played for charities. Um, and some of the people who will be competing this season are Megan The Stallion, Anthony Anderson, Earth, Wind, and Fire. What? Yeah. Shaquille O'Neal and Sherry Shepard. That's a fun bunch. I'm about to say, that's a star-studded list right there. She yeah. gathered the whole squad up. Old, like new, and everything in between. Yeah, I like that list. I think... I think Family Feud is fun, but Celebrity Family Feud is fun too. It gets a little more fun. Yeah, because you get to see you get to see these people out of their element, and sometimes that's nice to see. Um, yeah. Also, sometimes it's funny. You you also learn who's like way smarter than you ever imagined, but <laughs> but also who's. I used, more to, I used to see that on Jeopardy. Yeah. Like people be on Jeopardy, be like, "Holy shit, Shaq knows that answer. How 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 do you know that?" Right. Who taught that to Shaq? Or who's funnier than you thought they might be in real That's life? True. You see a little, little bit, see a little bit of that personality come out. Yeah, you get some personality, which I think is cool. Um, I always like seeing people as they are, uh, rather than you know as we're supposed to see them. So yes. I, I think that this is a. a I, I've always thought it was a fun show. Um, also, you know, if you're watching Family Feud and they ask a question, I mean, the whole thing about being the viewer is being able to like yell it out, yes. especially if they get it wrong or you feel like you know the answer. You're like, why would you say that? Right. You know, it's very. And usually you watch it with people. So it's multiple shouting, multiple shouts happening, or you might be arguing with the person, you know? Right. It'd be like, what? when should you not wear a tank top? You'd be like, in the winter. Your person next to you be like, no, you got to wear tank tops in the winter. That's the best time. You'd be like, what? What's wrong with you? Right. So it's, it's a, it's always a fun experience. Yeah. Um, being a properly named and watch, watching it. Exactly. And it's some, it is something that you can do with other people, which is, which is very cool. So, yeah. so if yeah. I had a big family, I would totally buy, they sell like family feud for the house. Yeah. Oh man, if I had a big family, I would totally be playing Family Feud all the time. Like so that would be so fun to just have groups of people playing Family Feud going crazy. Oh man, that would be so good. Yeah. But unfortunately, I don't I don't have one of those big families. I mean, listen, we could put a team together. <laughs> we could set something up. But um but yeah. You need a lot of people for something like that, no? Don't you need like eight people at least? I feel like if you had a solid, yeah, if you had like eight people, you could do it. Why not? It's a lot of, uh, what's the word I want to look for? A lot of uh, communication and planning. Yes, 
Absolutely. You might but, you might not have you might have to hide the fact that it's family food you are playing when y'all get up. You have to be like, oh man, a crazy party, catered food. It's gonna game, be lit. Just say it's game night. They, I guess. Because when people go to game night, they don't know what games they're playing. That's a valid point. That is a valid point. I love a good game night. Yeah, people don't know what games they're playing when they go to game night. So you you, you can throw true. anything out there. You get there and you don't know. It could be Monopoly. It could be Scrabble. It could be Uno. It's anything. Or it could be something completely different. Right. What's Uno. the card game everybody likes? Cards Against Humanity, right? Cards Against Humanity. Oh, yeah. That's a fun one. Yeah. yeah so that's people like how that. people are. Um, right. <laughs> it does. Um, but, yeah. There's a bunch of different things that game night could entail. Game night could be like a trivia game, or it could just be like questions, open ended questions. Um, yeah. It really depends on, you know, what the vibe is. So, when I was a kid, there were couples that used to hang out like in the family, and the thing would be Pictionary. Oh, I always loved Pictionary. So it'd be like my mom and dad versus like, my cousin and his lady, mm -hmm. and then the other couple would keep score and do the timer, and then the loser, the, excuse me, the winner would play the couple that's waiting. Mm -hmm. and that's how they do it. That's how they did it, excuse me, because it was like six of them at one point. Couples game night is fun, especially when you like shake things up a little bit and like split up the couples. <laughs> Good that's dangerous. It is, but it's fun. <laughs> But yeah, so, um, yeah, no, I, I I think this is cool. And just to get back to the, the matter at hand, I think it's amazing that um, a Black oh, woman... Oh, I didn't even say... I'm, right, you, you hit it. I yeah. think it's really exciting. That's um, the part I was supposed to say and totally skipped. Yeah, like we're multifaceted. We don't just do one thing. It doesn't right. always have to be music or you know what I mean like it could be Absolutely. different things and I think the fact that she's a showrunner for a game show and a game show that is so huge and so fun um, is really cool so congratulations yeah. to her right yeah I totally forgot the part that she is the first black woman to run a primetime game show that was the point of all of this and I totally forgot to read that so I apologize and again shout out to Maisha because that's really, really super fly. And like I said here before, I, I love seeing us in these different spaces, taking on these different roles and setting new precedents. I think it's awesome yeah. when we're able to do that. Yeah, that's amazing. So excited for her. That's very cool. And I will try to catch, I don't have ABC, but I will try to catch some of... Uh, uh family feud this season um i heard some mixed reviews about meg the stallion um but i'm curious about all the, all the other people that are on there also so you know maybe i'll check it out and report back right we'll be we'll be here waiting yeah the season is underway now i think it just started last week so yeah july 9th mm -hmm. that's what the, the article said 